Thank you. Councillor Saundercook. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Colleagues, this is too important of an issue to uh, really play politics with. And in fact, many of us, me speaking as a commissioner now, have sat through the entire process. I'm 100% convinced that it is a safe uh, situation for St. Clair. The communities, whether it's Councillor Mehevics or Walkers or Nunziatas, uh, all of those neighborhoods are safe along St. Clair. In fact, I think we could argue may even be more safe because as we get worse and worse in gridlock situations around here and fire trucks are trying to maneuver on the roadway and they're in there with the unpredictability of the drivers that they can't see coming is much more dangerous than mounting a curb, getting down the middle of the, of the right of way and getting past it and now the rest of the traffic has seen what's going on here and then they get out of the way for a fire vehicle to get back on the road to make a right turn to go down to a house or whatever the situation may be. So I would argue that in fact it may be safer. Uh, we, we have to be very careful here. We don't want to send out a message, uh, uh, Councillor Otis to, or Councillor Holliday to our constituents to say Storm City Hall, we don't have a safe situation here. We've heard this argument with speed humps. Uh, I take my job very seriously about trying to, to have a, a situation through my ward where fire trucks can get to a residential property very, very quickly without having to uh, encounter speed humps because they're on the small residential streets. So you, you preserve those residential arterial roads in your communities so that the fire trucks can get there quickly. So let's be realistic here. You look down St. Clair, a fire truck mounts that right away and they can get around streetcars very, very easily because they'll be dead stop, rest assured, and they'll get to their destination quickly. Thank you.